there Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your love monthly forecast reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So this reading goes through all of you guys who are in the sign of Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every Capricorn people out there so just keep that in mind. So this month we are doing things a little bit more differently and we are going to be taking a look on what are the influences for us for the month of April and to see what's going on with you in your present moment. This is going to be your present situation and what's going to be happening for you very soon and the overall outcome of this situation as well. And over here, we do have some predictive um, information to what you can expect. This is going to be an added information that comes within the reading. And these three cards will give us some form of themes that might pop up uh, within the month of April, um, which we might be able to see through within the spread of the reading or may not. But they are definitely going to be playing a significant role for you. Um, for the month as well and over here we do have here my twin flame notes which can give us more information on what are the things that you might need to know about your emotional life your love life you know it could be things that you are feeling right now or it could be the things that your other person is having during this time which they might be expressing or may not be expressing all at the same time but definitely something that you might want to know or need to know during this time so um yeah that's our setup for the spread to this month and let's see what's going on with you guys okay so um we're starting off with the star card for a lot of capricorn people out there and this is going to give us a lot of inspiration and the star card is actually very interesting it has that aha moment wherein you know it gives us an urge and desire to to attain things to achieve things and it gives life to all of the wishes dreams that we actually want to come into place and with the knight of swords and the knight of pentacles that we have over here it makes me feel that maybe you are going to be engaging with a particular person in your life it could be you wanting to to push forward a certain goal a certain wish that you want to happen in your life or for some people um this could be you waiting you know you're waiting for this situation to come into fruition into your life so either way, this has a lot to do with your emotional happiness and emotional desires in life and um, some form of news that maybe you have been waiting on or desiring on for quite a while now. So that's going to be the really main theme for a lot of Capricorn people out there. And as we move towards the... Um, Towards the month, we are getting here the Eight of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Five of Pentacles. Now, uh, this is going to be something that you might be encountering in the near future. So, you might be coming to a point wherein some form of reflection might be needed to, to be experienced or felt. Uh, it could be a situation wherein maybe you are going to be feeling wherein why you ha you are going to be questioning why everything is such a pain you know why everything needs to be so hard to accomplish why do i need to suffer why do i need to work so hard to actually attain something and the hangman usually gives us an energy of frustration especially if you feel that you are um, somehow investing a lot of your energy and your time into a situation but um, at the same time, you're not actually receiving something that you want, you know, it's not, you know, the situation or the the situation that is happening in your life is not something that you actually like, or maybe you're not entirely satisfied. Maybe you're wishing for something and that situation is not turning out in the way that you desire, in the way that you want things to be. So that is creating um a friction into your life so you might be you know receiving some form of m m news maybe that you know that makes you makes you feel uh unsettled or you know um an energy we're in 
either you are going to be receiving news but you did not like the news that you actually receive or this could be a situation wherein it gives us an emphasis on the waiting part you know waiting for something to happen but not nothing is really some not nothing is really coming in however i do know for a fact that you are going to make some form of effort you are going to try to work things out Ye emotionally though this is not going to be a very happy fulfilling time for you at the very least at the middle part of the month you know i kind of feel that um this is about you working hard and making concrete efforts to 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 achieve your goals in your life right now and i kind of feel that you know um you're still going to live life the way that you you should you know your priorities your responsibilities in life you're still gonna do them and i kind of feel that instead of you wallowing in in disappointment and frustrations in life i kind of feel that you have to or you you should try to see the good things about your situation you know um this is how manifestation works basically when you focus on the things that you lack you keep noticing of all of the things that you don't have and if you try to see the blessings and the good things into your life you know this in turn can give uh an energy wherein you are going to experience and having more of the things that you are thankful about and feeling blessed about and this is just you know a common sense theory when it comes to law of attraction and manifestation and you know sometimes common sense is common sense but at the same time it's not easy to apply them into reality so this is just me reminding you that you know things may not be working out in the way that you like and but it doesn't mean that you have to wallow in fear and disappointment because that's not going to solve your problem and it's not going to help your situation situation either so i kind of feel that instead of regretting things or trying to trying to question life trying to question god maybe you know for some people who who can be very frustrated i know not a lot of people are like that but some people might feel that why is life so unfair and that they might be questioning a lot of those kinds of things you know it's not so easy for me to be happy and all those kinds of things so uh this is just a reminder that you need to focus on the good and you know the good things that you have in your life and i do know and i do believe that you have those it's just that you're noticing the not so good aspects of your life instead of the good ones so um as we end the month we do have here the eight of wands the two of swords and the death card so the death card always has a negative connotation but um, at the same time, since we do have the Ace of Wands here, I kind of feel that this could be a situation wherein some form of change and breakthrough is going to be ne needed to happen and needed to be accomplished um, so that um, some form of change can actually happen into the situation that you're in. And this can apply whether you are concerned with your career, personal life, or relationships as a whole. I kind of feel that, you know, there is really something that needs to change in your circumstances so maybe you have been trying to be understanding with your partner trying to un understand your situation trying to be uh i don't know what you i don't know what you call it like trying to trying to keep everything inside of yourself thinking that things are going to change very soon things are going to change very soon but i kind of feel this is going to be the month wherein you come to a realization or you are going to realize and notice that uh, the situation is not going to change you have to change something so that it actually changes you know uh, waiting and being passive about it is not going to solve your problem you are going to come to a realization that you need to initiate something and you might need to make the first move in creating the change and transformation in your life especially if you want a lot of positivity to come into place so we also have here the third party card the regrets and i so this could be a situation wherein um i it makes me feel that 
it will give you an energy to see things in a, in, a, in a different point of view. When we have the third party card, it doesn't really always mean third party, you know. I mean, that is possible with the eyes and regret cards. Maybe this could be a situation wherein someone gets found out cheating or you know having suspicions with your partner but at the same time i kind of feel that this can also be a situation wherein um, you will be able to see your situation as if you are looking in the lens of another person so you will have a different perspective into certain things and you know this could be an energy wherein you might be suspicious about certain things you have you're having a lot of doubts in the situation and you are going to see the red flags into the situation that you are in right now and that might be you know that might be a, a reason why you might be feeling down why you're feeling a lot of complications especially in achieving happiness and in life but at the same time it's going also to be a trigger point um, that allows you to have the energy and encouragement to actually change the circumstances and change the situation that you are in at this time. So um, in our turn flame notes, we have here, I'm happy you're in my life right now. We have here the I wish you are here with me and trying to forget you. Now, this is really more of a situation wherein someone is really desiring a particular person into your life so it could be you it could be your other person maybe they're thinking about that and we have here the last card met, uh, saying i am afraid so this could also be a situation wherein someone is waiting you know someone is waiting to to be in the life of another person again and a part of them is shouting and craving the love and attention, you know. A part of them wants to be in a relationship with that particular person in their life. But at the same time, there is an energy here wherein they, they might be afraid. There could be some form of hesitations. Or maybe this could also be a situation wherein two people are waiting, you know. Uh, so we are not really seeing any movement or any progression because the other person doesn't want to move, doesn't want to take action and the another the other person as well does not want to take any action and does not want to make any form of movement into their life so that can create some form of complication into certain things so um so i kind of feel that you know this is really more of a theme we're in maybe that is the frustration that we are going to be seeing here we're in i want i want i'm waiting for a message i'm waiting for this person to come into my life and i feel that i've been doing all the hard work by myself and nothing is really happening and you know for some people they might have a decision to maybe should i end things with this because you know nothing is really progressing but for some people this could be a trigger point wherein this this allows them to actually go back again you know to initiate the contact because the other person does not want to initiate any form of action i mean who knows right but overall i kind of feel that you are going to really feel the energy of um that your your situation has to change because it's not healthy anymore so we have here the bad health card whenever this shows up in a reading i kind of feel that it always gives a situation we're in you know um this is certain circumstances and situation that you are in right now cannot function and move forward anymore until you actually change the situation maybe you have been in a situation wherein you're too much um comfortable um, with the stagnancy you are too much comfortable with the situation we're in you just allow things to happen and you allow the other person to step on you whether that's intentional or unintentional you've allowed the other person to take advantage of you you you've allowed the other person to um to treat you poorly so uh, it's now at the point of you know at the face of your life situation we're in this is not gonna work you know it has an energy of this is not going to be healthy it's not going to work and some form of change needs to happen or 
it's something that needs to go you know so it has that form of energy so this is going to be a month we're in you might need to reflect you might need to do something and um this is not a time for you to be passive un unless of course you want to stay in this kind of a relationship then do not you know if that is the case then you should not question the situation you know you're not really in the position we're in you should question why is it hard for you to be happy when in reality you've allowed the circumstances to happen you know you've allowed the other person to treat you poorly and thus this made them get used to it get used to it you know and relationships sometimes is like that and people tend to be very complacent very forgiving and that's really okay i mean i don't really have any form of comments when it comes to forgiving but uh i do believe that there is something that's a little bit too much and a little bit too much is never healthy and that goes with every aspects of our life you know anything that you you do too much and you go overboard um it always ends up in a different story in a in a bad ending kind of a situation so yeah this is going to be definitely a month for and you are going to come to realize that something in your life and in your situation needs to change or else you know that's going to be the end of it if you don't do anything so um yeah this is my reading for you guys capricorns capricorn sun moon and rising sign if you do like this reading please do give me a thumbs up comment down below if it resonates with you and what insight might come um for you within this reading and yeah i do want to invite you guys on joining my facebook uh, group community wherein i do discuss a lot of astrology um insights and readings and predictions and you know just to mingle and um, get to know our members of the group and yeah having a lot more inter interactions here and there so um also i am selling a lot of curious nowadays and magic intentional oils and if you're interested with that all of the um description will be down the, in the <laughs> description box of this video um so yeah and if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you in your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com and we are going to be taking a look on your situation based on the cir real circumstances of your life situation so it's definitely going to be in depth and really much more insightful than this one so i do recommend that if you're interested to go book a reading with me so um yeah uh thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i shall see you guys again next month goodbye